Welcome back! As you know from video 2, state parties to UNCLOS have a choice between arbitration and adjudication before the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea or the International Court of Justice. So, what are the differences between these procedures and why do states choose arbitration? These are the questions we will address in this video. But before doing that, let me first introduce the two judicial bodies entrusted with adjudicating Law of the Sea disputes. You already know the ICJ, the principal judicial organ of the UN, from part one of this MOOC. The court is based here in The Hague. He has general competence and can decide any disputes involving questions of international law, including the law of the sea, if the parties consent to its jurisdiction. The court was already in place during the negotiations for UNCLOS, so you may wonder why ETHLAS was created. Well, there may be several reasons. For instance, ETHLAS is composed of judges with recognized expertise in the law of the sea, which is not necessarily the case with the ICJ. Another relevant factor is that when the diplomatic conference took place, developing states in particular were critical of the ICJ, its membership and its jurisprudence, so they opted for creating a new tribunal. ITLOS has its seat in Hamburg, Germany. It has jurisdiction over all disputes concerning the interpretation or application of UNCLOS and those arising under other agreements conferring jurisdiction onto it. In addition, it is competent to give advisory opinions. ITLOS includes a chamber that is specialized in disputes concerning the international seabed area, that is the area comprising the seabed, ocean floor and subsoil beyond the limits of national jurisdiction. Unlike the ICJ, which is only open to states, ITLOS is also open to non-state entities such as international organizations. ITLOS can indicate provisional measures, that is, urgent measures that are required to preserve the rights of the parties pending the resolution of the dispute. Even when the parties chose arbitration to settle a dispute, the constitution of the arbitral tribunal may take some time, so the parties can request ITLOS to indicate provisional measures. These requests are motivated by considerations of urgency. The parties can also request the indication of provisional measures for the preservation of the marine environment, which is not within the jurisdiction of the ICJ. Furthermore, ITLOS has jurisdiction in a special procedure to facilitate the prompt release of vessels that are seized by coastal states. This is a very important safeguard for the freedom of navigation on the high seas. In certain circumstances, UNCLOS allows coastal states to board and inspect foreign vessels in their exclusive economic zone, or EEZ, and to arrest and detain them. But a coastal state has to promptly release the arrested vessel and crew upon the posting of a bond or other financial security by the flag state. If a detained vessel is not released, the flag state can institute proceedings before ETLOS. To give you an example, in 2013, the Netherlands applied to ITLOS to obtain the release of the Arctic Sunrise, a Greenpeace boat flying the Netherlands flag. The ship and its crew had staged a protest against an oil platform situated in Russia's EEZ, and Russian authorities had arrested the ship and its crew on charges of piracy. ITLOS ordered Russia to immediately release the vessel and the persons who had been detained once the Netherlands posted a bond. The ship was released in 2014 and the Greenpeace activists were allowed to leave Russia. Let me now turn to the common features of adjudication and arbitration. Both are legal dispute settlement methods. Both result in decisions that are binding for the parties and both envisage the possibility to request the indication for provisional measures. So, why do you think that arbitration appeals to states as opposed to adjudication? You can pause the video, think about the answer and write down your ideas if you so wish. And when you resume the video, we will compare notes. Let me give you five main reasons why state parties to a dispute may choose arbitration over adjudication. First, Annex 7 arbitration offers 
greater flexibility than dispute settlement bodies with fixed rules of procedure, such as ITLOS or the ICJ. Arbitral proceedings are more expeditious, and they can be kept confidential, whereas judicial proceedings are public. Arbitration also offers the parties in dispute greater control over the composition of the tribunal, as well as the possibility to avoid third-party intervention. However, arbitration is more costly than adjudication because the parties have to bear their own costs and pay for the tribunal's expenses. That's not the case with the ICJ or ITLOS. Let me add that states sometimes switch between arbitration and adjudication. For example, a dispute between Bangladesh and Myanmar was brought first before an arbitral tribunal and then transferred to ITLOS. Let me wrap up. In this video, you've learned the key features of the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea and the International Court of Justice. You've also had an overview of the main advantages and disadvantages of arbitration and adjudication. It's now time to turn to the South China Sea arbitration.